Hi everyone, I thought I would come on board today and do a live. Um, I just wanted to um, really acknowledge everyone right now. Um, whatever place you're in, um, you know, we're, we're all kind of going through our own crap at the moment. Um, and I just wanted to bring to your attention the importance um, to our own connection to self. Um, I was having a beautiful discussion the other day with my son who was like, you know, why is everyone going crazy in the shops? And, um, and I kind of thought about it and, you know, I work with energy and so everything is energy and we all feed off that energy. Um, so, you know, if you're talking to someone who's in a really good mood, some of the energy kind of roughs up onto you. So you end up feeling like in a good mood and your, your spirits are lifted. Um, same goes for if you're with someone who is depressed and a little bit mopey and upset. You kind of, you know, your energy kind of gets drawn down um, to incorporate that same sort of state. Um, not all the time. I'm generalising, of course. Um, so yeah, and I and I said to him, well, with everything that's going on, I said fear is just another form of energy. So you know, when you're around it, when you read things on social media and the news and newspaper, I mean, it's everywhere. It does. That some of that fear energy can rub off on you. So the importance of that self-connection and knowing the self, you are able to recognise what belongs to you and what belongs to something else or someone else. Um, this is why it's so important at the moment to have some downtime and that is, you know, get off electronics. Um, I'm talking about downtime where you're in nature or you're just being you're having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and those who have worked with me, I say this all the time, is really be present when you're drinking that cup of tea. You know, in the morning, spend 20 minutes just sitting, having a cup of tea, feeling the warmth of it in your mouth, tasting it, you know, being present in your body while you're, um, you know, just 20 minutes rather than um, having a cup of tea and putting your makeup on and getting things done and, you know, rushing around, you're not actually there. So when we're constantly put our bodies under stress like that and go, 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 there's a lack of harmony within our ourselves between action and doing, action, doing and being, being present. So we've got to bring harmony back to those two things because Obviously, we live in a world where we need that action, we need that doing, um, but we need to actually schedule in that time just to be. So whether it is doing a yoga class, whether it is doing a 10-minute, 20-minute meditation before you get out of bed, whether it is, you know, having a massage or um, having some energy healing, just something to counteract that busyness, that doing, 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 yeah? Because especially at the moment, we need to look after our immune system. So the more we're on the go, the more stress it puts on our nervous system, our immune system, everything. So it's really important because in those moments of being present, you do find out, okay, what, what's going on for me right now? What's the truth for me right now? And when you can tap into that, tap into that peace and the calm, you can then have more of a deflection of the chaos that is around you, yeah? And you end up being a witness to it. So you can witness it and you can come from it from a point of compassion and understanding and go, oh, I understand this. One of our human core needs is that survival, that um, security and the certainty. So if you can reframe it and say, okay, so if these people need to buy all this food or they need to stay inside and not socialise, 
and for them it makes them feel safe, then we need to respect that. doesn't mean that we have to do the same thing. So we've got to touch base with what is what rings true for us. Um, and just like this video and anything else that I post or, or put up, it's about taking everything that you hear and say with a grain of salt. You've really got to determine what is right for your own personal experiences. Um, you know, there's lots of information out there and it's great to do the research and gather that information, but try it on. See if it fits with your lifestyle, your beliefs, your values. Um, yeah, so it's it's about tuning into self. We've, we've seemed to have neglected that part of us um, that believes in ourselves and trusts ourselves. So we need to start getting back to that. And we do that by harmonising the being and the doing. Uh, we need to do both, otherwise nothing gets done or, you know, we end up sick, whatever. Um, but it's being aware, being a witness to ourselves and our environment um, and being the observer and taking action on what we need to do, whether it's taking action on stopping or taking action to get something finished or done. Um, but making sure that there is that harmony between the two um, because your your health and your wellness depends on it. And if you're unhealthy and unwell, then those people um, that you want to help can't benefit from that as well. Um, and I go into that, I'm actually preparing a course at the moment where it is about the steps of finding the best version of yourself. Um, so many people say, be the best version. It's like, well, how the hell do I do that? So um, I'm going to put some steps into place and, do, and run uh, a course online to uh, help people do that. And it is about that harmony between the two, um, the being and the doing uh, and, and reconnecting with yourself and becoming a witness and observer without negative judgment. Um, you know, what we need to do to counteract the fear if if you're, you know, if you're put off by it or, you know, it's overwhelmed by it is um, is sending out the love, what, however that is for you, whether you're posting positive memes on, on social media, um, whether you're reaching out to your neighbours, your family and friends, um, you know, try and reduce the amount of bitchiness, of gossiping and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we need to, you know, we need to counteract that fear uh, and we can do that uh, in our own little world. It doesn't have to be, you know, a mass world thing. It's just these baby steps, one person doing something, somebody else doing something. It all, um, it all amalgamates together. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd pop on here and I don't know if I've done a live on here before. So um, I'm the face behind... <laughs> this group uh, and I will be doing more lives um, because I just find that I'm ready for it. I'm stepping out from behind my own fear and, um, and yeah, sometimes it's easier just to say stuff rather than write two pages worth of content. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want everyone just to remember to breathe, remember to give the love, um, we need to counteract that stop, take action to stop. So bring in that harmony of rebalancing the self, um, self-monitor uh, your own energy. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want to be fearful or do you want to, you know, do you want to be safe? Do you want to be loving? Do you want to be kind? Um, work towards that goal. Uh, and if everyone can, can do that, and we can encourage each other, um, we will get through this. <laughs> Everything is temporary. Uh, for some reason, I think that there is a bigger plan, you know, that's unfolding. We've got no idea what it is, but I just, um, I have trust that something, something big is about to unfold. So it, it will be great if we can keep that vibration high with love and kindness, uh, generosity and gratitude. I think we're going to be okay. So um, thanks for watching. 
Uh, hey, Ems and uh, Cherie, thank you for watching. And I look forward to coming on board again. All right, take care. Bye.